Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Chicken Pops. My name is Hen and I like to play The Sims. I'm mostly a builder but sometimes I do get into create a sim to change things up. But for today I built something in the game and I want to show you what I did so far. Now before I go any further I just want to say hi to all of you. So hello, how's it going? I hope you're good because I know I'm good so it's all good, let me know in the comments. Also, if it's your first time here, welcome in, grab yourself a drink, have a seat and enjoy today's video with us. So let's get into the video real quick. Um, today we are building in Oasis Springs. This world came with base game all the way back in 2014 and for some reason not a lot of simmers really like this place from what I've seen. I mean, I get it, uh, it's, not, not, it's not the most well finished world in the game and it's not as green and lush as the other worlds and I used to be one of those people who never really played in it but recently I found myself playing here more and more often. Sometimes it's to find collectibles like fruits and sometimes more metals and crystals and things like that that you only find here like for instance the cow plant berry. And since I've been here a lot more, I've learned to appreciate the way Oasis Springs looks. There are tons of details in the world, like little dust clouds popping up here and there in the wind. The ambient noises are also really, really great and sort of deserty. And the lighting in the world is actually awesome. And I also really like the way that it changes the color of things, like the walls and the roofs. And well, you know, pretty much everything in, in, in the game that you place in this world. And that's the reason why I decided to build another house here. Now, this video is go is not going to be, rather, the entire thing. Like, this is just the shell that I built, basically. And when this video is up, I will upload this version to my gallery. So if you want, you can download it and furnish it, you know, to your own liking. Or if you feel like it, I will post the furnishing video really, really soon. And then you can download that version and have everything done and ready to go and play in, you know, in your own game. I'm doing it this way because if I put the whole thing together, uh, like the building of the exterior and the furnishing and the landscaping, the video will be either very long or I'd have to speed it up too much. And I know from personal speed build watching experience, I don't always have the time to watch uh, a longer video or, you know, the stomach to sit through something that's moving too fast. Um, I, I tend to get a bit dizzy when a video is sped up too much, you know, if the, if the camera moves too fast. And the added bonus is that you guys basically get two different versions of the house. Now, this house, I wanted to give a distinctive modern look and I wanted to give it a deserty kind of feel. So what I did to accomplish this was to give it a flat roof and clean lines with thick, chunky columns all around the entire house. Uh, the columns help tie the whole look of the house together because they are repeated often. And I also wanted to add a bit of overhang above most of these uh, or above most of the windows that are supported by those columns and because the overhanging bits would make shade and it would cool down the areas um, that would also be good at blocking too, bli too bright good grief too bright sunlight from directly entering the house because you know desert sun I think uh, would be very strenuous to the eyes uh, you'll also notice that I added a big balcony on the back of the house spanning across both floors and I also added a roof to the one on the second floor because uh, as I just said you know shade is very important in the desert. Now the whole house so far will consist of three bedrooms, uh, two of them are downstairs so one can be a kids room, uh, the other can be uh, I don't know a guest room or another kids room. Each of the bedrooms will have their own bathroom and the main bedroom upstairs has an ensuite bathroom that you have to enter through a walk-in closet. But one of the bedrooms downstairs bathroom is going to be, or rather going to have to be, a hall bath or a guest bath for Winston's do come to visit. There is also a small room upstairs next to the staircase uh, that will be a sort of multi-functional space because I'm going to make that the laundry room and a storage room. I'm also going to use the large landing area upstairs as a lounge for the parents to have their own sort of chill space. And uh, back to talking about downstairs, I'm going to put the dining area near the front door close to the back patio. And off to the side of that, I made provision for a space to put a fireplace because even in the desert, it does tend to get cold at night, especially during winter. At least that's the way it works in, in real life. Um, but that is going to be the living space is going to be or the living room is going to be 
And then the room just behind that living room toward the front of the house is where I plan to put the kitchen. Uh, also, also the uh, small room leading off of the kitchen is going to be the office slash study. At least that is the plan for now. I'll see how it goes. It obviously might change when I furnish. I also added a big pool to the backyard in case any sims want to cool off on a hot day. And I can't wait to play around and make like a really cool outdoor entertainment space on that back porch area. And you know, the, the whole paved area I made by the pool. I also fenced in the backyard so your sims can have some privacy because swimming in the buff is actually a thing in the game. And we do not want to scar the neighbors for life. Uh, so guys, that, that is pretty much going to be it from me today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. The next part where I furnish this build will be out soon. So please be sure to be on the lookout for that. Uh, also, also, and, and, and if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like. It really helps me out. And if you want to and you're not subscribed yet, tap the little subscribe button ever so gently and hit the notification bell. I promise it doesn't hurt. Uh, remember, if you want to download this house shell, it will be on my gallery as is right now, so you can furnish it yourself. If you do download it and furnish it, you can also tag me with some of the photos on Twitter or Instagram to show me what you did. My Twitter and Instagram handle are at chickenpopsims, uh, you know, the same as here on, on YouTube. I think I'll enjoy seeing what other people do with the build. And another thing. If you have anything to say, or even if you just want to say hi, leave a comment down below. Um, I'm also going to put some screenshots up at the end of the video, as I usually do, so you can have a better look at what's been created here. And also, if you want to, you know, recreate the floor plan in your old, in your own game. Um, so yeah, th thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate the support so so much, and I will see you all next time. Okay, bye. Thank you.